percolator, percolator. <laughs> percolator, percolator. Percolator, percolator. We hear y'all. Uh, big game, what's happening? Big game, what's happening? Big game, what's happening? It's your boy Double Seven Crescendo, the creator and founder of Crescendo Productions, the founder of YPM TV on YouTube, the founder of the Crescendo Podcast. We in here today. Uh, we gonna get. We gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, good morning to y'all. It is still nine in the morning. I think what time it is. Yep, nine thirty-two. And we finna go and get up in this horror. Go ahead and get this shit started. Yep, I like prolonging my episodes for now. This is only for now. This is not a finalized thing I want to do. I actually wanted to do three episodes per week. But I had to slow down. I mentioned that in my previous episodes. Uh, I had to slow down because a bunch of stuff started developing. Uh, so... I had to uh, prioritize what's more important. And uh, we're going to get started on episode 40, Percolator. Uh, if y'all want to know where I got that, that word from, none of your damn business. But I tell you this, though, I was uh, looking on my, my, uh, my, 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 I was looking through my plugins on FL Studio. And on one of my favorite plugins, there is an instrument called the percolator <laughs> you know what I'm saying and so I was like well you know that worked out pretty good and uh I won't speak on the context of where that name came from because that's classified information but the person that made it know who made it I ain't gonna drop no hints I ain't gonna say nothing because you motherfuckers are jealous you motherfuckers get mad when uh when I get my shit going so since y'all are so mad and distraught and dry and jealous, we're gonna just talk about a few things that went down in the music industry. Because um yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to divide the spoil really good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to divide the spoil on AS because um Motherfuckers really out here trying to block my grind and block my hustle, block my shine, right? So, um, we ain't gonna talk about what you think we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna just talk about this music shit, such as Day, Kendrick, Simone, Kendra Lazar, uh, what I say, uh, uh, Kendrick Abdul Jabbar. He has uh, did a lot of things over the weekend, and it's like, well, not the weekend, my bad. Did, did, um, he did a lot of things over the past few weeks, and one of the biggest things that he did was this concert, the, uh, the Pop Out concert. I think that's the name of a Pop Out or something like that. And um, hold on, y'all. And I didn't I didn't see it. I didn't I didn't even know that was gonna happen. Uh but from what I heard and from what everybody's saying, it was a good thing, you know, it was a good little concert, right? It was a good concert, my bad doing something. It was a fire concert, right? I gotta go check it out. I haven't just flat out seen it yet. But I heard he brought the whole West Coast out. Now, I did hear some new developing stories after that, saying that the essays, the Mexicans from the West Coast kind of got mad at Kendrick because they say he didn't invite them, right? And I can speak on the behalf of black people, and I can only speak on what I think Kendrick thinks about the Mexicans when it comes to this. Now... Shout out, first of all, shout out to the good non-racist Mexicans. We love y'all. Um, love your food. Love your traditions. Love your people. 
I used to be in love with Mexican women, you know what I'm saying? I used to, oh, I take that back, not in love. I used to really lust after Mexican women. So, you know what I mean? Um, I ain't ever just disliked Mexican women or Mexican people, Hispanic, people like that, Hispanic folks. We love all y'all, you know what I'm saying? We love the whole Hispanic culture. We don't like racist Hispanics, though. You know what I'm saying? Them, them, them wetbacks, we're going to call the racist wetbacks. The racist wetback Hispanic community, they don't like black folks. So fuck them. We talking about the Hispanic community that loves everybody. You know what I'm saying? No matter where you're from, how you coming and all that. If you coming with love to them, they love you. Them type of Hispanic folks. Now, like I say, this was after the concert, so I don't know who exactly said it or if it was said. But I can understand why Kendrick did not invite the Hispanic community for this concert. There's multiple reasons why, but this is the number one reason why he didn't do that. Number one reason why he did not invite the Hispanic community from my perspective is that this beef is strictly between the black community and Drake. You know what I'm saying? Now, if Drake had... Hispanic people on his side and he trying to infiltrate the Hispanic community, then he probably would have brought out the Hispanics and the black people. But Drake wanted to be a black guy in our community, so Kendrick brought out the black gangs and the black people in, you know, L.A., basically. He brought out black L.A. So, you know, us, the black people that want to see shit like that, we was we was happy. We was like, oh shit, you know what I'm saying? He he just did something that other rappers can't do. Other rappers right now from LA can't do what Kendra just done right. And we thinking it's all good. Boom, 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 right? Next thing you know, I hear a rumor that says Hispanic gang members got mad that Kendra didn't bring them. It ain't like that, bro. You know Kendra likes y'all. Kendra fucks with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick's a real one. It took a while for him to get back on this pedestal, but he's back. He's stronger than ever. He's married. He's been married to his high school sweetheart, which is a cute, beautiful love story. Shout out to y'all. Wish I had that story, but I don't. I don't like none of the bitches I went to school with. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> he was blessed to have an angel in his life in high school. So, just kudos to y'all. Hope y'all just... Hope this really hope y'all marriage is blessed, full of happiness, and you know what I'm saying, prosperity and everything, right? But I don't want the Hispanic community to get upset at Kendrick because of this one move. You know what I'm saying? It's like when black people do something, everybody wondering where we at. Nigga, let us do some shit. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? Then when 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 you involve them, when you involve the Hispanic community, oh black people can't do nothing by themselves. They always involve in everybody. No, stop that bullshit, bro. Y'all should be happy that Kendrick did not have no white people, no Asian folks, no Hispanic folks, no other Africans from Ethiopia, no Africans from Nigeria, and you know what I'm saying? The same old get up we see the industry do. Y'all should be happy for that. No Jewish people. You know what I'm saying? It was black. Niggas, Kendrick, DJ Mustard, the gangs. I forgot who else he brought out. He brought out some other rappers too. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but black love, bro. Let us have our black fucking time. And then whenever we get whenever we get out of love and fellowship out the way, then we can come to y'all and do our thing with y'all. You know what I'm saying? But but I'm tired of every time black people do some shit, y'all always want to incorporate everybody else. Stop that bullshit, bro. What about it? Nigga, what about you? Go do your own damn thing. Y'all got Bad Bunny, bro. Go to Bad Bunny, since he's a Hispanic, whatever he is, and do your thing over there. But y'all want Kendrick, a black man, a nigga y'all weren't even supporting, to call y'all ass? Yeah, this is why he ain't called you, nigga. Where the fuck was y'all? What was the Hispanic community when Kendrick came in his bitch huh he barely had the black community behind him but all of a sudden now he gets on back on his pedestal gets the fuck out of drake and shit and get his check now all of a sudden 
Hispanic people wondering why you didn't bring us out. Because, nigga, this is black. You know what I'm saying? This is all black shit. We not saying we don't incorporate y'all in our stuff. We just saying, nigga, give us our fucking time, family. That's sad. I told y'all this shit on the reparations episode. Probably what that was, 20-something. It was episode 20-something. Wait, every time we talk about our black ass, everybody in the world want to jump in. What about us? What about that? Ooh, 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 they didn't do that. They, stop trying to become experts in our struggle. We caught y'all red handed so bad to the point y'all contradict yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't went through this, then you can't speak on it. Okay, then, motherfucker. Why is white people that never been enslaved trying to talk about why we don't deserve reparations and it didn't affect us? Nigga, you weren't even a slave, boy. You not even a black man. But you fixed your damn white ass mouth, racist ass white mouth on our situation all because you feel like you're going to be broke after we get reparations. If you are, bitch, you should have you should have just came out and said, hey, y'all, my ancestors are on slaves and everything they own is from slave labor. Here you go. That would have fixed all that. But now y'all bitch ass come online and try to argue with us as if you been through this. You can't do that, nigga. Y'all the same monkey ass motherfuckers that say, if you never went through it, you can't speak on it. Okay, bitch, you ain't never been enslaved, motherfucker. Your bloodline has not ever been slave. Enslaved. My bloodline was. It's blood, it's black bloodlines in America who has been enslaved. And we have felt the effects of that bullshit. And we have dealt with the racism that came after that shit. And we dealt with the master's great grandkids sitting there trying to fuck with us in school so they can distract us and send us to prison, nigga. We dealt with that. They come into the jobs. These jobs look at our name and then they put it in some secret database and find out, oh, such and such was a slave back in 1832. Let's play with them. Let's put their money down. Let's make sure they don't get that much. Then the, then the boule bloodline niggas who was kissing the master's ass. Make sure they get more than the niggas who was the real field slaves. You know what I'm saying? We got to deal with this shit, nigga. So if you ain't never dealt with that, you can't speak on what we deserve and what we don't deserve, nigga. Same way y'all want to speak on everything else. If you ain't went through it, you can't speak on it. Okay, bitch, you ain't had no blood, slave blood in you, then you can't speak on the, the, the characteristics and the treatment of what we already dealt with, nigga. Because white people love saying that shit. You were no slave. We ain't got to be the fucking slave, nigga. Our ancestors was. You know what I'm saying? And yo, 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 you tell your white motherfuckers to stop treating us like our ancestors, nigga. Slavery don't exist no more. Why the fuck y'all white ass still out here trying to treat us like slaves? But y'all ain't saying that part. You know what I'm saying? So I said all that because the Kendrick shit. Hispanic people, wait, wait your turn, bro. We love y'all, but at the same time, we can't love everybody and nobody loving us back. Where's the Hispanic people stand up for black folks? Hmm? Y'all only want to stand up when it's cool to stand up. But when nobody else standing up, nobody's there. Ain't no Hispanic, no Asians, no no Africans, no no whites, no no other blacks. You know what I'm saying? It's like when we by ourselves, we literally by ourselves. But when we go up on the pedestal, we got to bring everybody with now. Not, not crescendo, nigga. I don't care if I got to start all this shit by myself like I'm doing right now. Bitch, if you ain't put in on my shit, you not about to get no praise, no respect, nothing, nigga. And I know how they going to try to twist that on me. What she do for you? Why Why you worry about her? Why, why are you all up in my life? You know what I'm saying? All the females I used to like, ain't nobody spoke on them. Y'all try to hint on a few girls I had. That's only a few, nigga. What about the rest of them? My homies remember me talking about these hoes. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to just keep going 14 minutes in. Uh, let's see what else we can talk about, y'all. Okay, probably won't be a long episode, but we'll see. Uh, let's see, y'all. What else? What else went down that's important? Um, 
Oh, okay, Spotify. Let me get on Spotify's bitch ass right quick, right? So I know this stems from the Kendrick Drake beef, right? But this is a whole nother topic. Tell me why Spotify bitch ass gonna sit there again and tweak with their services. Now, this is how I know some crackhead master bloodline people are running these companies because... I never saw so many people want to run their business in the ground to stop a few people. You know what I'm saying? That defeats the whole purpose of business. Free commerce. It's supposed to be a free commerce, a free open market, right? So why every time a nigga gets something on your platform, you got to change the shit? Now they're trying to say Kendrick Lamar was using bots to, to generate plays. Hold on, gang. This is the type of bullshit I'm talking about. So you're telling me Taylor Swift didn't use bots. Drake didn't use bots. But Kendrick did. Did y'all forget that we know Kendrick Lamar or are y'all that damn cracked out that you forget everything? And then Spotify out of all services. Spotify, you charge $15 for, for ad fee, ad free services and which I ain't guaranteed because it's probably still gonna play an ad and we don't even get paid that much nigga we getting paid less than a cent per stream bitch shut the fuck up you shouldn't even be complaining about shit nigga you ain't gotta pay nothing but I know why they mad though these companies suing the fuck out of them you know what I'm saying these companies suing the absolute fuck out of Spotify every month and they mad that niggas get more plays than their white slaves you know what I'm saying? Cause when Taylor Swift when Taylor Swift got a billion plays, what was the problem with that? Ain't nobody said bots. I said it was bots personally because I don't listen to Taylor Swift. But guess what everybody's saying? Oh yeah, she deserved that. Everybody loves Taylor Swift, right? Okay. We let it slide. Okay, she got a billion views, no hating on her. I mean a billion plays, no hating on her, right? Kendrick just gets three hundred million plays. And now all of a sudden, he's, a, he's using bots. Like, no, nah, y'all just don't want niggas to get nothing. It don't matter what you want. What they gonna say? Well, you know, he should have done it. No, no, no. That goes against everything y'all was saying, right? Y'all love contradicting yourself more than telling the truth and want us to believe everything you're saying. I don't believe none of you niggas. I don't give a fuck what you're saying. Everything you're saying, you contradict yourself, nigga. One minute, if you ain't getting as many streams, then you ain't on shit. Next minute, if you're getting too many streams, you're using bots. Nigga, y'all can't make up your fucking mind because you're crackheads. That's what a crackhead do. I'm thirsty. I need something to drink. You give them some water. All that water too hot. Bitch, you should be grateful I brought you anything, you stanky ass crackhead. I ain't had to bring you shit. But you ain't grateful that the water, just because the water is tap water, I don't drink tap water. Well, bitch, you're not thirsty, nigga. I drink tap water. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if the water hot or cold, nigga. If I'm thirsty, I need some fucking water, nigga. Room temperature or cold. It don't fucking matter. Ice or not. You can put ice in it. You don't have to, nigga. If I'm really that thirsty, I'm about to die of dehydration. I don't give a fuck what temperature the water is, okay? But y'all ass... One minute, you niggas don't want to help. The next minute, you try to help the best way you can. Niggas ain't got shit. Nah, niggas, y'all ain't. Y'all the one ain't shit, bro. You the one ain't grateful. Look at all these hurt ass celebrities. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm finna speak on this. But I'm gonna speak on it once. You know what I'm saying? On on the podcast. So, Fibica A Fox. I got to speak on this because I got to speak on this because so many black men have embarrassed themselves. I'm embarrassed for black men as a black man. I am so embarrassed and so fucking tired of these niggas. I'm just ready to shoot them. I'm ready to kill them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I say that every episode. But, you know, in these streets, it's killed to be killed, killed or be killed, right? And after everything I learned about this street shit and everything I've been through in the street shit, I'm looking at these internet niggas like 
it, it, it ain't just internet niggas. It's more like niggas trying to be personalities. You niggas suck, bro. You niggas are down low. I can tell you getting dick in your ass. Because Vivica says on an interview, right? She said this like what it was a couple weeks ago, probably last month, that she's looking for a partner. Now, this is how I know these niggas goofy as hell, right? She been in multiple relationships. So it ain't like she just now looking for a partner. You know what I'm saying? She said that because she do you niggas went on shit. She's 60, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever her age is. And to me, she don't look bad. You know what I'm saying? To me, she looks okay. Yeah, her face a little chubby, whatever. But, you know, it, it don't bother me. That shit don't bother me. But these niggas. After she said that shit, like she should have said as a grown black woman, and she has every right to say it, why the fuck all these down low, middle class ass niggas got mad? They got so fucking mad, one nigga said she need plastic surgery. I said, bro, I really want to break y'all y'all now. I want to I wanna fight all you niggas. And if you try to fight dirty, I'm going to break your legs, your ankle. I'm going to break your balls off your damn fucking pelvis. And then I'm going to break your jaw off your face, nigga. Because you niggas are pussies. You're pansies. What kind of lame-ass, little dick-ass nigga will sit there and tell a black woman she need plastic surgery, nigga? And, it, and not just any black woman. Y'all telling Vivica A. Fox... That she need plastic surgery. First of all, nigga, nobody fucking know your ass. I don't care if you've been on stage ever since 1925, nigga. We don't know you. And I don't care if you got a million subscribers on your lame ass YouTube page with your fake ass scam business going on. We don't fucking fuck with your ass. So what fixed it in your mind or you niggas minds that you need to say talk down on Vivica? How many times has Vivica talked down on y'all? She don't even mention y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna spend too long on this. I just wanted y'all to know how I feel about the situation. As a black man, I won't ever tell a black woman she need plastic surgery, nigga. I've seen ugly bitches before. Okay? If she ugly to me, I just don't look at her. You know what I'm saying? But first of all, Vivica's not an ugly woman. She probably she probably not my type. Of course, she's not my type of woman. But telling her she need plastic surgery, bro, use a little dick ass little boy. I will personally whoop your fucking ass. You know what I'm saying? Cause this the same niggas that sat there and did videos about BBLs. Black women getting BBLs, well, you dumb as hell, why you doing it? Now all of a sudden, Vivica A. Fox need plastic surgery. Wait a minute, nigga. BBLs is plastic surgery, nigga. It's just on the ass. It's the implant. You know what I'm saying? So so it ain't good to get ass implants, but it's good to get facial surgeries. Yeah, that's, that's you know what I'm saying? Whoop they ass. These niggas lame as hell, and I hope she sue the fuck out of all y'all and send cease and desist letters. You know what I'm saying? Because I know y'all ain't got enough to pay her with y'all lame ass YouTube channels. Bitch, you on YouTube. Shut the fuck up, nigga. I'm a published producer on multiple platforms, nigga. You niggas on YouTube and can't even handle that shit. Boy, I'm going to beat the fuck out y'all ass, nigga. It ain't no exceptions. No exceptions. You come around because you know what that fuck shit, I'm going to stand up and knock the fuck out of you, nigga. And you better fight. And if you try to grab me, I swear I'm going to knee the fuck out your ball sack, nigga. Uh, multiple times. Not just one knee. Boom, you're done. Now I'm going to boom, 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 boom. Your ass going to be a woman when I'm done with your ass, nigga. You going to get the place. Matter of fact... Any nigga that said that about a black woman around me, I'm a I'ma give you plastic surgery, nigga. But it ain't gonna be the good one. You gonna have blades all in your fucking eyeball, nigga. I'ma cut out your eyeball. How about that, bitch? Disrespect another black woman around me, nigga. And I ain't just protecting all black women. No, I'm talking about black women that ain't bothered you or nobody on the fucking earth, nigga. She minding her damn business. Vivica is minding her damn business, getting her check, not worry about you niggas. But you niggas acting just like 50 Cent. You acting like Joe Budden. You acting like you're getting dick in your ass 
and mad at black women for what, nigga? Because they broke your heart? Because you can't hold one down? Because you can't handle a black woman? That's why you mad, bitch ass dude? Well, guess what? The black men, a black man named Crescendo, now you got an enemy, nigga. Your op is Crescendo now. And I know hella fight styles. So you can't cheat with me. You can't try to bring a knife or a gun because I know how to use that too, nigga. And you can't try to bring 40 niggas because guess what? I got 40 niggas. Everything y'all gonna try to cheat with, I'ma come back with the real shit, nigga. That's how I know you niggas pussy as hell, you fried. If you try to talk about me on your platform, I'm going to blow your platform up on YPN TV and, and fuck you up so bad like I did Danny from the stop and had his ass changing his format, nigga. All you niggas. I don't even got smoke with Danny no more. Shout out to Danny from the stop. He doing his thing now. We had a little smoke, y'all. Let's let you know for niggas be like, yeah, ain't nobody know you. No, Danny come in on my shit one time. He talked about me, you know what I'm saying? Because I'll talk about him. But yeah, we, we clashed a little bit one time. But it's all cool now. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool, I'm cool with him. It's, it's cool. I, I ain't gonna so, I ain't no supporter, you know what I'm saying? Dick ride and all that. But at the same time, it ain't no smoke with cuz no more. I'm glad you got Joe Budden in his feelings because he is a bitch ass nigga. He would say slick shit, saying your name. So, Danny, if you hear this, you keep handling their ass in them Twitter spaces because that's all they going to fucking do. Joe ain't going to never pull up on you, bro. He a pussy and the ugly bitches in his Twitter spaces never hurt. Them bitches so ugly, he don't even bring them on his podcast. That's why I'm like, yeah, handle their ass, Danny. Looking like a fucking... Danny like a cabbage patch dog with his weird looking ass. But no hate though. You know what I'm saying? I told you, um, I said, um, ain't no smoke with me and Danny no more. You know what I'm saying? I let I let that go. But it was smoke at one point. Because he used to dick ride Joe. I'm like, nigga, fuck Joe, nigga. <laughs> People don't fuck with Joe Button. Even even the niggas that claim, oh, I listen to Joe, he's a great man. Ain't nobody know that nigga. Who the fuck is that dude? You know what I'm saying? It's some comment, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody care about him. But, yeah. We gonna, you know what I'm saying? We doing our thing, bro. Ain't no black woman slander over here. Ain't no black people slander. Ain't no slave slander. Ain't no race slander. Ain't no genderism. Ain't no homosexual. Matter of fact, Pride Month. Happy Pride Month to the homosexual community. Ain't no homosexual hate over here. No type of fucking baloney hate. Lame little dick energy shit over here, nigga. If you bring it over here, I'ma fuck your ass up. You know what I'm saying? We in the fucking basic training. This is basic training, nigga. I said, there's no weakness in this dojo. <laughs> there's no lying in this dojo. Ain't no fake niggas in this dojo. Ain't no fighting illegal in this dojo. Ain't no talking down on black entertainment, entertaining wit, uh, entertainment women in this dojo. Ain't no praising the whole, but getting mad at the good woman in this dojo. Ain't no down low, wanna be gangsta ass shit in this dojo, nigga. I will kill a gangsta, bitch. I don't care what gang you in. Y'all always scared of these gang niggas, boy. The community will kill gang members. If they wasn't kinfolk and cousins and brothers and sisters and mothers, daughters and, 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 and nephews and sons, then people, you know what I'm saying? People wouldn't, I mean, people would have smoked all their ass out. The community, more it's more regular killers in the community than gang killers, nigga. That's how I know y'all ass ain't even from the community, nigga. If you from this shit for real, you know exactly everything going on in this bitch. Y'all ass to get surprised from a gang nigga. Oh, he robbed 50 people. And the government robbing millions of people, nigga. This. Oh, he shot somebody over. He shot 50 ops. I mean, the military shoot millions of people every day, nigga. Tell me something that's supposed to be so phenomenal that I got to respect these gangs that ain't already being done. Oh, they moving all the drugs. They got 500 kilos. Nigga, the CIA got all the drugs, bitch. What? 
Oh, he driving a brand new car. Boy, that ain't no Lamborghini. Shut the fuck up. That's a Hellcat, nigga. This, <laughs> that's a fucking Hellcat. Shut the fuck up. That ain't no Lamborghini. Oh, he got a big ass house. That bitch finna get four clothes, nigga. He can't afford to pay that. He getting all the hoes. Bitch, I wouldn't even pay a hundred dollars for that bitch. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> everything. Everything they gonna care about. Oh, that jewelry. But it'd be quiet for somebody to steal that shit and melt it down and turn it to a brick of gold or diamond or silver. You know what I'm saying? He got all the money. Boy, he is not the Walton family. He ain't made no Walmart, nigga. Shut the fuck up. You niggas just love dick riding other men because you're, you're taking dick in your ass. I ain't dick riding no man, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I always dick ride niggas. Oh, he can fight, but it ain't no professional boxer. He ain't no Kimbo Slice, nigga. Shut the fuck up. He can't even fight fair. Kimbo has straight hands and will slice your eyeball open with his fist. You niggas can't even fucking punch right. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You got to jump, niggas. Ooh, ooh, and that's how y'all fight. <laughs> niggas scared to fight, but you punching. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, nah, niggas. Shut the fuck up. You always want to tackle niggas when they got hands. No. That's why I know multiple fight styles. You come at me trying to tackle me, I'm going to turn real quick and then grapple your ass and break your fucking shit for trying to tackle me, nigga. We up here boxing. This ain't no fucking wrestling. If you wanted to wrestle, you should have let me know that. But no, you didn't know I could take these punches, bitch ass dude. The percolator, motherfucker. But I asked about the percolator. Percolator, percolator. <laughs> mm -hmm. Better ask about me. Better ask about me. Better ask about me. I'm the percolator. I'm, I'm the percolator, homie. I'm the percolator. I'm the, I'm the percolator. You could you could ask about me. You know what I'm saying? All types of shit, nigga. Let's send send that scary ass shit back to your block, nigga. Matter of fact, it ain't even your block. It's that other nigga block, bitch ass dudes. You niggas so scary. Don't let don't let me get started on the entertainment industry. The the rappers, the actors. The interviewers, the producers, the writers. Boy, if you ain't coming right, I'm going to handle your ass, bitch ass nigga. I don't care how many security guards you got, nigga. They can get shot too. Security can get shot. Military, anybody you got to protect your scary ass can get hurt, bitch ass nigga. Even if it's bulletproof. It going to be a bulletproof car. Guess what can't stop? I mean, guess what can stop a bulletproof car? A fucking grenade, bitch. Nigga gonna throw a bomb at your shit. Then what? Then what? Huh? Y'all thinking niggas scared of y'all? Ain't nobody scared of you niggas. You know what I'm saying? You niggas hiding behind polices and shit. Boy, you pussy, nigga. The streets don't fuck with y'all. The streets gonna kill y'all, nigga. Look at Julio Fulio. Julio Daddyo. This nigga dead as fuck. Let that be known to all these little niggas in the streets. You're looking up to these rappers, smoking on this. Boy, you gonna be smoked next, nigga. Stop playing with these niggas, man. Killed this ass in his hometown on his birthday. Now what? What the fuck you gonna say then? Rap music violent. No, no, no. Stop the bullshit. Y'all always changing the goalposts when yo people get fucked up. But when somebody else can't folk die, you're laughing at the shit. Huh, <laughs> how you shouldn't have been out there. No, say that about all these niggas. That's how I do. Yeah, I fuss with young Dolph, but he, his ass shouldn't have been out there. The fuck he doing going to a cookie shop? You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck, nigga. You famous. You should be, you should be ordering your shit to a secured fucking big ass house with 40 acres, nigga. Fuck trying to live normal when you're famous. I don't want to live normal, and I'm not famous right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to live normal. So I'm like, you niggas get famous, rich as hell, got all these baby mamas, fucking other niggas' baby mamas, and, 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 and doing all these concerts, but want to live a normal life. Nigga, if you want to be normal, throw away your fame, nigga. 
Stop trying to be famous and normal. That's not how it works. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying like for everybody. Everybody got the same situation. No. I'm just saying. Some people want to be famous and then turn around. I want to be normal. No, you want to be famous, nigga. Fuck all that. Excuse me. Fuck all that shit. It's billionaires right now who's billionaires that is not famous. Okay? So it ain't about the money. Or I want the money. No, y'all wanted the fame, nigga. And then want to live a normal life with fame. That's not how it works, man. But it ain't Julio Fulio. You know what I'm saying? Better ask PMB Rock. The fuck you going to a Roscoe's, nigga? You fucking rich ass fucking Philly rapper, nigga. I am sick and tired of you niggas doing normal ass shit. Trying to be fitting in with the community when you're rich and famous. That let me know a lot of you niggas was never raised in the normal community, bro. I don't care how they say, oh, I got a picture on the block. Yeah, I bet you do, nigga. That's what all CIs do. Confidential informants got to prove that they was there. So they got pictures right there. And then, and then they got a wire with the, on the picture, nigga. Yeah. Confidential informants in the hood, too. Do that make them hood? No. Okay? Normal people in the hood. Do that make them hood? No. Elderly people in the hood. Do that make them hood? No. Okay? It's only a select few type of niggas in every hood who's actually hood. Okay? But I thought y'all knew that. Y'all ain't gonna like, y'all knew that shit. You're putting it in your movies. You check these lame ass square movies out in these TV shows trying to dramatize street shit. Shut the fuck up, bitch ass motherfucker. You don't know no street shit talk about. You don't know nothing about no hood, nigga. Because if you did, you'll tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? Got these killer drugs, the truck, uh, these killer drug lord love stories. Nigga, what the fuck wrong with your lame ass? Oh, you know, I'm just, oh, no, nothing, nigga. It didn't name in y'all story, nigga. <laughs> That's somebody else's story with y'all whack ass. So we handling all you motherfuckers, whether you like it or not. What you gonna do about it? Try to hurt me? You try to hurt me, I'm going to kill you, okay? You try to talk about me, I'm going to smoke you, okay? Seeing how I had to fuck up all these people the past couple months trying to sit there and talk about my baby. No, you ain't talking about the daffodil lioness, and you ain't going to talk about the percolator, nigga. Percolator, percolator. Percolator, percolator. You ain't talking about the percolator or the daffodil, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Leave us alone. My baby getting a check over there. She getting a check. She got about five checks during the time y'all was capping. While y'all capping for free and sad cap, sad salty cap for free, she got about ten checks those times. Thank you, baby. Run your check up. I love them. Daddy love when mama get the money, nigga. Daddy love that shit. Matter of fact, get five more chicks on the ass at one time. And, I'll, and they ain't talking about it, too. They want to talk about age and, and, and time and all oh, this or that. Y'all, y'all want to hint on love and shit. Nah, bitch ass nigga, hint on that check. Talking about y'all can't go to sleep, bro. Well, show me, tell, talk about the check. Talk about how many times. Talk about the money you just made. But you can't. Because y'all ain't making shit. She's still making money. I'm making money. We both making money. Why y'all hating? Hating on my death for the line. Is there any more room for me? Yeah, the death the cheese. Put a flower on it and the sexy. Tell me, is there any more room for crescendo, the percolator, and the daffodil jeans? <laughs> yeah, we in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? In real life, bro. In real life. It's not a script, bitch-ass dudes. And it's not no rap song, bitch-ass dudes. I wish you rapper niggas and you rapper bitches. I wish you motherfuckers would. Boy, I will fuck your ass up worse, nigga. Put it like this. 
gang members, rappers, and government agents, I will fuck y'all ass up worse than the entertainers. Entertainers. Actors and actresses and, and writers and producers, I'm going to just scare y'all. I'm going to, ah, you know, growl at y'all ass. <laughs> I'm going to growl at y'all ass because I know they ain't going to do shit. But the rappers, singers, and, 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 and government niggas and, and, and gang members, cartel niggas, yeah, I'm going to rip your fucking shit out, nigga. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm disassemble your body, nigga. Dismemberment. You get all getting dismembered. I don't care. All that shit y'all talking, all the people y'all hurt, and y'all expect people to just pow, here you go, and slap on the wrist. No, nah, I'm gonna take your wrist, nigga. I'm gonna cut off your fucking wrist, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cutting your wrist off. Yeah, go back and tell them, nigga. She no talking about dismemberment. Yeah, tell them. Let them know how worse it got, nigga. All because of y'all. Y'all wanna get on track, talk about people. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna fuck you up, nigga. I don't give a fuck. And if it ain't me, it's going to be somebody else. Ex Julio. Ex Julio Fulio. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Hold on. You better ex Julio Fulio. Hmm? Left his ass in that car. You better ex Julio Fulio, motherfucker. Ex PMB Rock. Ex Pop Smoke. Ex Tupac. Ex Biggie Smalls. Ask uh, 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 J.D. Youngin. Tell my dog too, but ask J.D. Youngin. Ask Lil Snoop. Ask all Chicago niggas, because damn near all they is dead. <laughs> Fuck your homie dead. <laughs> Fuck, your... Fuck your homie dead. Most of ass got hit in the head. If you want to come get me. <laughs> He's all right next to me. I feel like Diddy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Out here playing this shit, bro. This shit not no joke, man. But hey, y'all wanna play. So if, if you will playful ass motherfucker, get ready to die. That's that's exactly what they doing with playful ass motherfuckers. They gonna play with you, they gonna play on your grave site. You know what I'm saying? Shouldn't have been playing as a grown ass motherfucker. Leave that playful shit for the toddlers. Leave that shit for the kids. You know what I'm saying? The babies. Babies play. Okay? But if you 18 and up trying to play, they gonna kill your ass. I'm just letting y'all know what they doing. And I'm letting y'all know what I'm gonna do too. But y'all ain't gotta worry about me. I'm not even out there with y'all. Y'all gotta worry about the niggas out there with y'all. Since y'all wanna be so street. I'm outside. Yeah, they gonna leave your ass outside like Julio. He was outside in the car, nigga. All right, niggas ain't got no car. How you get slumped in your car outside? Now what? That defeats everything y'all saying. <laughs> ain't got no car. You bitch, you getting killed in your car. Now what? Niggas just hating. How, how the fuck they hating? I know niggas hating. Y'all the one hating. Every time something happen, y'all got to say something. You the one hating, nigga. One minute we can't speak on this and we ain't did it. Next minute you speaking on shit you never done. You hating ass, contradicting bitch. Trying to talk about ages. Leave the age shit alone. Kids these day, but ain't nobody talking to your old ass, bitch. You weren't even shit then. Why is it all these motherfuckers that weren't even shit then want to talk about kids these days? Shut the fuck up. Them people in them days weren't even fucking with you either, nigga. They looking at you like this dumbass kid. Weak ass motherfucker. Talking about, oh, we got all the whoopings. They couldn't handle it. They couldn't handle it. No, no. That that 70s, 80s era niggas, y'all got it easy too, nigga. The last time it was super hard like that was for the 30, 1930 babies. Them people had it hard. 1940 babies. Them people had it hard. 1950s babies. Them people had it hard. You know what I'm saying? But 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, shut the fuck up, bro. Shut the fuck up. Oh, y'all ass, shut the fuck up. Y'all cheesy as hell. You're corny. You're weak. You're soft as fuck. Emotional. A disaster. None of y'all billionaires. None of you, you're barely millionaires. 
If you're a hundred millionaire, you finna get sued and drop down like Kanye ass. What y'all gonna say about Kanye? Oh, the Jews did that. I mean, if it was, nigga, what the fuck he talk about it for? If if your job is to just shut the fuck up and you get paid, why the fuck y'all feel like you gotta talk? Y'all telling us to shut the fuck up and we ain't getting no millions of dollars. But this nigga was sitting on a fucking $500 million Adidas deal and couldn't shut his bitch ass up? Yeah, that's why y'all ass getting fucked up, nigga. That's why ain't nobody want to work with y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that nigga. Fuck Kanye, bitch ass dude. You blew the fucking thing so many times, bro. And you from Chicago. You ain't helped not one kid from Chicago, Kanye. But you want to talk all this shit. Oh, the Jews this, the Jews that. Nigga, shut up, bro. Talk about the one, two, three levels. Stop trying to go way up there. Talk about these boule ass plants that's killing off black kids. Talk about that. Raping kids and shit. Talk about the boule and the Eastern Star. Stop trying to go way the fuck up there because you that ain't even the people running the shit too. Talking about the Jews. And now nah, the Jews is another pun in that shit. That's another level in that shit. You ain't even naming the top of the top. Shut the fuck up, nigga. If you ain't going up there to the alien talking the devil, Satan himself, Satan himself running this shit, then don't don't speak on this shit. Okay? Hell yeah, real talk, bro. You niggas fucked up. You niggas lame as hell. But what can we? T- what else we can talk about, y'all? Let me get some air. Oh shit! It is hot in this car. <sighs> what else we can talk about, y'all? Percolator, percolator. I ain't want the name of this. I was gonna change it and shit. But you know me. You know. You know crescendo. You taste me. Okay. Uh. Change of scenery, y'all. Hold on, give me a, fuck, a few seconds. Yep, a change of scenery. Um, let's go and finish this episode. Uh, yeah, everything I'm saying, y'all, is for real, man. And I'm only saying it because somebody got to give y'all some tough love, man. It's really a brace of tough love. You know what I mean? And it's only because it's a saying in the street that says pressure burst pipes, pressure make diamonds and shit. So yeah, I gotta burst them pipes, man. I gotta you gotta make diamonds. You know what I'm saying? I got my nice ways or whatever, but if it's some shit I gotta get out my chest, I'm not gonna say it nicely no more. When I was nice, niggas thought I was sweet. So yeah, we ain't we ain't doing that sweet shit. That's why I believe a lot of you niggas down low as hell. You think a nigga sweet all the time. What, what's up with you and these sweet ass thoughts, nigga? You niggas too sweet for me, bitch ass dude. And you don't smell sweet like me. I smell sweet. You know what I'm saying? My scent, my, my, my scent alone smells so sweet. You know what I'm saying? That women see it on my face. Women see that sweet smell on my face. Yeah, baby. I smell so good. Even, even if I ain't took a bath, I smell good. But when I take a bath with that soap, I smell even way better. I smell sweeter, like honey and man and cologne. You know what I'm saying? I be smelling like all that. So, these niggas thinking niggas sweet all the time. That's because they sweet. And we ain't talking about the, oh, that's so sweet. No, we talking about the sweet down low sweet. You niggas getting tickled in your booty hole. You know what I'm saying? Cause ain't nobody touching my ass And I don't I don't think nothing like you niggas I ain't ever told a woman She need plastic surgery Nigga you sweet as a mother You sweeter than a doorknob nigga. <laughs> Oh you know that's <laughs> Oh you know that's real You sweeter than a doorknob nigga <laughs> Lying ass niggas You can't speak on this If you ain't been through it Bitch you speaking on a whole bunch of shit You ain't doing You know how many people Try to speak on my beats why this sound like that? Nigga, you ain't no engineer. You don't even know what to call that sound. What's that sound that go D D D nigga? That's that's what you is. You stay right there, bitch ass nigga. You don't even know what it is. I know exactly what it is. And I ain't even gonna tell you. Cause you ain't doing it. But you trying to tell me and you can't make a beat. That's the type of people we dealing with. Same people that be like, oh you know you can't speak on it. 
No, y'all speaking on everything you ain't never done. So fuck that. We ain't listening to you niggas. Contradicting ass bitches. Same whole time our relationship. These niggas ain't shit. Then when, when a real man come around, and now you want to talk like, oh, bitches want to fall in love. Matter of fact, one nigga talking about chasing women. Little nigga don't chase no woman. But shut, shut up, nigga. You ain't finna stop no nigga from chasing no woman, nigga. That shit happening every day. That's human nature, nigga. You just mad ain't nobody chasing your ass. That's all that is. Everybody's mad off people getting love in their life. That's because they ain't getting nothing. Sat there and did me like that. All because I feel this way about this woman. Bro, I done had seven girlfriends, nigga. Over the span of ten years. I graduated in 2014. Graduated high school. I graduated high school in 2014. And I had seven girlfriends ever since then. And I ain't even talking about the other bitches. I'm talking about girlfriends. Like bitches I actually went with. You know what I'm saying? So why the fuck you think I'm an amateur? What in your mind? Y'all painting in y'all mind that I'm beginning. This is my first time. I don't, all right, he gonna crash. He gonna, bro, shut the fuck up, nigga. I done had seven girlfriends, nigga. You had what? A one bitch ain't got cheated on by one bitch? Shut the fuck up. We is not the same, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Wish you niggas would, sweet ass, doorknob ass niggas. Door keeping ass bitch niggas. You niggas keeping the door. Bitch, I build doors. I'll fix the door, bitch ass nigga. You niggas keeping the door. Not the same. You know what I'm saying? Keeping door ass niggas. That's why the master don't fuck with y'all. That's why you outside the door, bitch, because you can't fix a door like me. I'll fix the fuck out your door. Fuck is you talking about? Matter of fact, we'll build our own door, nigga. You niggas the doorkeeper. You keep the door, bitch. We building doors. We is not the same, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Thinking you can hit on my life. Boy. I don't, I know I'm supposed to get mad, but I like getting mad because it scared them and it, it, it helped my juices flow, nigga. Yeah. She like when I get upset. She like when Daddy get upset. Let me let this plane pass over. Yeah, she like when Daddy get heated. Cause she know I'm a blah, 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 blah. Clap them cheeks open. Yeah, when I get mad, I clap my cheeks open. When I get mad, I think about gaping that pussy open. What it, what, what it is, two inches, two, three inches wide. I mean, two, two and a half inches wide hole. Her shit going to be open, open, bitch. It going to look like she surprised. Her pussy going to look like she surprised because that's how thick I am. That's the, that's the width of my dick. Two and a half inches of straight pound town sloppy fucking. And I'm sorry I wasn't even supposed to go that nasty, but the percolator has been activated. Y'all done fucked it up. You niggas haters, you ain't getting nothing. You dick little. Bitches don't want you. You niggas sweet back door you. You you're too scared to come out the closet. Shout out to the, like I say, happy Pride Month to all the people out the closet. We thank y'all. We, we, if anybody fucking with y'all, let us know. We'll fuck them up personally, the straight men. We protect everybody. It don't matter what you is and what you from. As long as you ain't no violator, you ain't no human trafficker, you ain't no child rapist. If you ain't none of those and no thief and all that, we gonna protect you. You know what I'm saying? Killers. Now, if you a serial killer, we gonna kill your ass, or the police gonna get your ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nothing but love over here. Nothing but happy vibes, fun vibes. You know what I'm saying? Money, whole bunch of money showers, begging a check, get your check, baby. And I do got a message for it too. Yeah, London Bridges is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridges falling down, my fair lady. Uh, 
you gonna have to do you gonna have to do what I'm doing. Do it by yourself. I don't care if it's on your phone. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, oh, matter of fact, nah, she cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of peeped her game. Yeah, baby, do do what you're doing. You you on the right path. I just want you to be very safe because if I hear anything, somebody says something, somebody did something, I swear to God, I'm gonna take a bus to New York, and I swear I'm gonna fuck niggas up. I swear I'm gonna do that. Do not fuck with that woman. Cause I know she gonna fuck your ass up, but I'm just saying if I had if I find out she had to fuck one of you hoes up or one of you niggas because you got too close, I'm going I'm going to New York earlier than my plans. I'm gonna take a bus up there, nigga, and I ain't gonna say shit. I'm gonna just pop up and be like I'm live. I'm in New York. Where the smoke at, bitch ass niggas? Where the smoke at? I'm gonna be looking for the fucking smoke, nigga. Rip Jr. Y'all, y'all stabbed up Jr. like that. Killed that boy in that bodega. Okay, we gonna see who doing that shit. Messing with my woman. We messing with my, messing with my baby. Don't do that. Don't even talk about her. Don't even say her name. I'm clear to do that. She clear to say my name. I'm clear to say her name. Okay. This is real grown up activities, nigga. This ain't no little boy shit. I done had seven girlfriends, nigga. Just got out of a bad relationship. And she was in the military. An army chick. And the niggas was talking about it, too. You ever date a military chick? Bitch, y'all lame as fuck. Every bitch I start getting, you niggas start hitting on that shit. Because you ain't getting nothing in your damn life. Bored ass nigga. Ain't nobody want the bitch you got now. Why is it niggas like that right now? It's niggas with bitches that I don't even want. That will sit there and talk about the bitches I had. It's cause y'all, my bitches look way better. The, the exes I had look way better than y'all niggas. Way better than any bitch you ever had. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this for real. Mm-hmm. And I ain't giving none of them lame ass rappers no airtime on none of my platforms like they do on y'all shit. Them other platforms, they, they talk about them same ass lame ass rappers every time. Fuck them rappers, bitch. If you ain't who I like, I ain't talking about you. I ain't reviewing your album. I ain't even mentioning your damn name. I ain't even gonna say your fucking name, bitch ass motherfucker. You ain't shit. You can't rap better than Killer Mike or Kendrick Lamar or or Nas or or, or Most Def or 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 who else? Uh, 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 uh Jada Kiss or motherfucking um. Uh, uh, Tupac or motherfucking uh, West Coast niggas Sebo, uh, 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 if you can't rap better than these niggas Then I ain't talking about you, bitch Oh, they hot I don't give a fuck What kind of hot y'all talking about? Hot and hot breath? Yeah, they hot breath alright Ain't nobody worried about these motherfuckers Everybody y'all say, oh, they hot right now Ain't nobody even give a fuck about they ass, nigga All the motherfuckers Interviewers too. I don't give a damn what who you interview, nigga. Every time, every time you interview a mother, a lame ass motherfucker, your views go down, bitch ass nigga. I can't tell you how many big ass platforms right now views is going down because they lame as fuck and they interviewing lame ass motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? It's like lame on lame. Two girls, one cup. Y'all ass two girls, one cup ass niggas. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Talking all that shit. Shut the fuck up. You might want to be on your platform, bitch ass nigga. None of you niggas. You know what I'm saying? You better pay me, bitch ass nigga. I am not calling. Hey, come interview me. I cannot come to your platform. Bitch, fuck your platform, nigga. I ain't begging none of you niggas. You better pay me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Got me fucked up, nigga. Yeah, episode 40, season 5, yeah, we in this hoe, niggas thought I wasn't coming back on that ass, I'ma fuck y'all ass up every episode, y'all not safe at Crescendo Productions, fake niggas and fake bitches ain't safe at Crescendo Productions, the real ones is safe at Crescendo Productions, I don't judge no sexuality, I don't judge a lifestyle, if you're getting that bread the right way, I love you even more for that, you know what I'm saying, if you ain't had to backdoor nobody for a chick, I love you for that, 
If you believe in God, I love you for that. You know what I'm saying? If you're taking care of your kids, taking care of business, I love you for that. All that other shit, though. All that, oh, they know me. I used to be in the streets. I don't give a fuck. What, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, nigga. The government control the streets. None of you niggas control the streets, nigga. Shut the fuck up. When they done with your ass, they send you to prison or they kill you. Y'all ain't nothing but puns in the streets. And then y'all want to exaggerate on these TV shows to make it look all cute and, oh, it's a love story. There ain't no damn love story in the streets, nigga. Lying ass writers, you bitches lame as fuck. You just wished you was in the streets, ho. Lame ass bitch. Want to steal somebody else's story. That's all y'all do, mo. Y'all always stealing everybody's fucking story and then acting like everybody's supposed to like that shit. Hell no, ain't nobody talking about your shit. Lame ass bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead and say her name. Let her get a check. Let my baby get a check. Since y'all want to lie, y'all want to get these other retarded hoes a check. No, fuck that retarded hoe era. Them bitches going to get slapped. You come to Chanel Productions with that bullshit, I'm going to slap you, hoe. Acting like niggas want you. Bitch, I don't want these hoes. These hoes look retarded. Bitches look like they stink. Bitch, if you look stink, I'm damn sure I ain't talking to you. Probably a four. I'll beat your ass and make you wash your coochie, bitch. Better not smell no type of blood around me. <laughs> Better not smell blood, ass, pussy. No. If your pussy don't smell good, I don't like you, ho. Mm-hmm. Niggas talking about... They were famous in the streets. No, nah, no, you wasn't, nigga. Ain't nobody talking about you, nigga. Shut the fuck up. Especially Chicago. There's so many Chicago niggas right now. Oh, we we BDGD. Boy, ain't nobody even talk about y'all ass, nigga. All the documentaries I saw weren't even about y'all, nigga. It was about the other niggas. It was about another gang, nigga. It wasn't even about y'all ass. Stop lying. <laughs> That's why they mad. Niggas always mad. You niggas more mad than getting money, bro. Talking all that shit. You niggas done talk down on more females than, than you pull, bitch ass niggas. And, and talking about we not the same. Nah, bro, bro. Fuck that, we not the same. It's the, the new saying is they not like us, because y'all not. You can't even handle the shit we handle every day, nigga. You niggas can't even handle a comment on Instagram, bitch ass dudes. You know what I'm saying? Pussy ass dudes, mark ass busters. Y'all niggas busters. And the bitch you got so mid, bitch, what nigga want her? Besides this retarded ass nigga, fat ass nigga on Instagram. Hurry, baby. Yeah, you you hollering at every bitch. That's the only nigga she can get. But me, you talking about the percolator, bro? If you, if you talking about the percolator, all the celebrity bitches on my timeline, nigga, no. I'd be damned you talking about, oh, they want my bitch who? The nigga that want everybody, bitch? Yeah, he, 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 they not like us, nigga. He is not like us, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Yeah, my dick got ranked, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Rank dick. <laughs> good smelling rank, big, big, good smelling rank dick, bitch. You know what I'm saying? But I'm already, I'm done with this shit. Love y'all. I'm out this bitch. Hope y'all have a beautiful day. Beautiful Monday. You know what I mean? Uh, anything important I made another beat last night Fire You know what I'm saying I'm gonna definitely drop some Probably like August, September I don't know Taking a Taking a music break To see what y'all gonna do And as you can see They ain't doing shit Except Kendrick Kendrick the only one doing something The rest of y'all ass dropping shit And nobody cares You know what I'm saying That's why I'm gonna wait a couple months Cause I ain't Hey they know me Ain't no crescendo, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't got shit to prove to nobody. But y'all ass, y'all ass famous, got money and all that, and still can't prove shit to nobody. Because you never was that. You're not even a musician, motherfucker. There's rappers right now didn't even know rap is a, is a fucking musician job, nigga. Yeah, that's what a poet is, nigga. Music, your rhythm, you know what I'm saying? But y'all ass too slow to know that. But I'm out this bitch, man. Episode 40, season 5. Let's get it. 
We up in this bitch. I am out this hoe.